Hello, hello, this is Foucault. I'm uh, making today a video that was suggested by Zaidi in the forums. Um, he wanted to see a, a Hold'em Manager uh, hand analysis video where I look through um, some old hands that I've played in a particular situation. And he wanted to see a video on um, some turn decisions and specifically uh, the question of whether to uh, follow up uh, aggression on the turn if you bet the flop. Um, now that's a pretty broad uh, that's a pretty broad question, and you know, it includes both: Are we going to follow up the turn when we're uh, when we're bluffing? Like, are we going to fire a second barrel on the turn? And also uh, the trickier question of how to handle um, made hands on the turn, especially uh, weaker made hands. So I have actually already done one video, or actually a, a series of videos on this subject for Poker Savvy Plus, uh, but they were some of the first videos that I did some time ago, and. Um, they only included analysis of a couple of hands that I put together specifically uh, for the purpose of analyzing those, and I didn't actually look at any hands um, that I had played. So I thought it might be interesting to uh, to go through my Hold'em Manager now and uh, try to make this a little bit of a, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a leak plugging video, I know uh, TRD doesn't like that phrase, but um, you know, a, a, a video about analyzing your own play as well because um, that's, that's what I'll be doing in this video. So you can look at it as both a, um, a, a video about turn play and also a video about uh, analyzing your play and kind of a case study in how to do that. So I would recommend, uh, if you haven't already, if, and if you're interested in this subject, watch the uh, three video series that I did called Tackling the Turn. I think it breaks down my thoughts on this um, real coherently, and it's a lot more, it's a more theoretically oriented video than this is going to be. So uh, because that video already exists out there on Poker Savvy, I'm not going to spend a lot of time um, harping on the theory. I did put together a couple of uh, questions I thought I would put out there um, that you can sort of ask yourself on the turn um, and then but I, I'm not going to spend a, a long time on this because I do want this to be mostly a hand analysis video but when you're um, considering betting the turn and this is really true whether or not you bet the flop um, although all of our examples will be examples where I did bet the flop when you're considering um, betting the turn there's a couple questions you want to ask yourself and we'll start with the simple ones and then we'll move on to some slightly more complicated the first one is just will worse hands call your bet um, if you if the answer is no then you probably don't want to be value betting now that might seem obvious but I think there's also a pretty significant situation where a lot of people um, a lot of people don't actually follow this rule and and they do value bet hands that aren't really going to get called by worse hands and those are situations where there's a lot of draws out um, I think a lot of times people will bet a hand like um, top pair with a bad kicker or maybe even like a medium pair or something um, in a situation where you're not going to have the best hand all that often